Hello my handsome and sexy dirty bastards, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a review about Dracar Noir, the normal one. I've never smelled it, <laughs> so now you're going to know if I like it, yes or no. So this fragrance has been sent to me by Perfum Dreams and I also got a discount code for you guys. Now my opinions are my own, I don't have to talk good about this fragrance. Also I'm going to do the collaboration, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> And the discount code you can use on the whole website. So you don't have to use it only on this fragrance. You can apply it to everything on a website. So let's not waste any more time. Grab yourselves a cup of coffee and put your balls in a good position. And let's get into it. So... Draca Noir, old school fragrance. A lot of you guys really love this fragrance. I think it's a fragrance from the 80s or, or something like that. A lot of girls also loved it back in the day. But yeah, I've never smelled it. So this is it. <laughs> this looks very cute actually with the plastic, uh, plastic cap. I'm ruining it already. About mission. This is how the box looks. Just plain simple. I like this. This has a, a feeling to it. Bubbly. It's bubbly. So like that, like that. And this is how the bottle looks. Simple. Didn't have to be fancy back back in the day, I think. So let's see. Let's see what I think of it. Now. Oh, this is strong. This is strong. Strong. <laughs> Can you imagine? This one is already reformulated like 120 times. But still strong. Ooh. Um. Different. <laughs> In the air, I quite like it. But when I smell it up close, it's weird-ish. Okay. <clears throat> up close is not so nice. <laughs> Close is not nice, no. There's something in it, it smells like um, hairspray that people used back in the day to get their hair really like up or something like that, you know? I know how it's called, it's like very strong hair gel but then in a hairspray. Johnny Bravo used it all the time. <laughs> That's kind of a vibe I get from it when I smell it up close. <sighs> okay. No, but in the air I, I understand why people like this. I understand it. I don't really like it, but I understand. Or do I like it? It has something very masculine. That I like. I don't know what to say about this fragrance. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let it dry down on my skin. Maybe it gets even better when it's totally dried down. In the air, I quite like it when it comes to me. It comes in your face. But uh, yeah, let's just wait for the dry down and I will let you know what I think about the dry down and the notes that's in here and the longevity and the projection and everything that you need to know about this fragrance. So be right back in a sec. Two hours later. All right, guys, and I am back. So it has been two hours that Draca Noir has been sitting on my skin. And uh, I must say it is much, 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 much better in the dry down. The alcohol hairspray-ish kind of an opening that you get from this totally went away. Now it's just more powdery, spicy, old school-ish kind of a fragrance. And I really like it. I like it. Now, but let's look up the notes, what is in here. And if I smell that in this fragrance. So in the top notes, you're going to get lavender, lemon, bergamot, rosemary, mint, lemon verbena, basil, and artemisia. Half of those notes, I don't know how those smells. <laughs> but lavender I get lemon i get and mint i also get the rest i don't get that much but it is greenish kind of so probably all those plants you do get <laughs> middle notes you're gonna get juniper coriander cinnamon wormwood carnation angelica and jasmine coriander cinnamon yes that i do get the other notes i don't and in the base you're gonna get oak moss leather fear Pine tree needles, fetifer, sandalwood, patchouli, cedar, amber, and resins. Wow. They gave a lot of notes away back in the day. Now you only get like six. <laughs> but oak moss you get, leather you get, 
pine tree you also get because I think that's the greenness that I really get from this one. Um, fatty fair patchouli cedar, yes, that's what you all get. The rest, not so much in my opinion. So it is a woody, spicy, fresh, green-ish kind of a fragrance. It's a whole weird mix, but um, it's nice. It's nice. I'm wondering how I would react to this if a guy smelled like this and I would get a whiff of it in the air. I'm gonna try it on a friend of mine. But right now I, I understand why people like it. I do, I understand it. Definitely if you wore this like in the 80s and you got some memories with this one, it's not bad. I don't think it's bad at all. I thought it was bad in the opening. Then I was like, oh, okay. I smelled that it was kind of nice, but also the opening, the hairspray, alcohol blast really turned me off. But now I can, you know, I'm like, I really like it up close actually. It's good. Okay, now occasion that you can wear this fragrance is definitely all year round. You can wear this at any occasion, day, night, doesn't matter, just not in the summer. I really don't think that this one is going to work in the summer. But man, this is what you guys wore in the 80s when clubbing, right? It's good, it's masculine. It's not like one, you know, when I went out, you had one million. It was super sweet and stuff like that. Like, this is man. Manly. It's good. Okay, the kind of a guy that I see wearing this, I don't know, but I really have in my mind like a very masculine man who really has, you know, who, who can grow a full beard, but he doesn't have a full beard. He just has this stubble, like a three days beard, but it's full. Um, so I really think like a guy who is above 30, 35, for those kind of a guys, I would recommend this. Younger than that, I don't see it. I really just don't see it unless you are a very masculine man from yourself, but otherwise 35 plus. And longevity and projection, I don't know. I only have it on my skin for two hours, but it projected kind of good. It got to my nose a couple of times, but uh, I would write down here somewhere how good the longevity is and how good the projection is. So just so you know, if you want to pick this one up, how good it will perform. Okay, and my final thoughts of this fragrance. I would give this a good, it's not like I would say like, wow, it's not wow, it's not super sexy. I understand the hype. I understand it. That's, that's what I'm going to say. On a good masculine man, 35 years plus, um, I would give this a seven and a half. Yeah, so it's not a bad fragrance at all. I don't think that this one is bad. Yeah, no, not at all. I think I would I would like it on a man, but I have to try it first. But for now, it is currently approved seven and a half. It's nice. It's different. It's different than all my other fragrances. So that's really good. All right, guys, this was the fragrance video of today. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if you know this fragrance, if you have this fragrance, if you've tried this fragrance, let me know. I want to know your thoughts on it and see you in the next fragrance video. Bye-bye.